Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Goodman, and over there is John Lewandowski. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker Toyo 2 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Today, the Milwaukee Admirals took on the Colorado Eagles. Um, before during this game, the Wolves lost an OT, making the Admirals magic number one. So all we had to do was get to overtime. All right, shots on goal in the first period. Colorado outshoots Milwaukee nine to five. In the second period, Milwaukee outshoots Colorado eighteen to six. In the third period, Colorado outshoots Milwaukee ten to nine, and in total, Colorado outshoots Milwaukee thirty-five to thirty-two. Now, on the power play, both teams went one for four with twelve minutes six infractions. Scoring in the first was nothing. Scoring in the second at the seven thirty-five mark for Colorado was John Luke Foody. Scoring his third of the season on the power play, assisted by Ivan Ivan, his 17th, and Riley Tufty, his 20th. Uh, the 12.02 mark, the Admirals get on the board with a goal from Wade Allison, his 12th of the season on the power play, assisted by Yuso Parson and his 13th, and Adam Willsby, his 7th. Then in the third, at the 17.16 mark, Colorado gets on the board with a goal from Chris Wagner, his fourth of the season, assisted by Callahan Burke, his 16th, and Ivan Ivan's 18th. Admirals dropped to 2-9 and nine since going on their 19-game win streak. Um, in net for Colorado was Trent Miner again, stopping 31 of 32. In net for the Admirals was Yaroslav Askarov, stopping 23 of 25. Your referees were Mike Sullivan and Brody Sutter. Live persons is Joseph Manin and Eric Benito. Your three stars of the game. Third star of the game is Trent Miner with 31 saves on 32 shots. Second star of the game was Jean Luc Foodie. He scored a goal and Wagner with the game winning goal. This team needs health and luck. Yeah. But let's see what kind of work our reinforcements may be doing. So Austin Gross leads the way in our system with 69 points plus 19 with a 1.5 points per game for the Everett Silver Tips of the Western Hockey League. Yes, this is in the system, folks. We're actually doing it. We're there with Jeremy Hensel uh, with the Seattle Thunderbirds. He was traded for... Um, or traded for in the trade for, I believe, Trenton, or with Trenton. Um, then Tanner Mullendike's next on the list. He's a defenseman as well. Nashville's first round pick in, I think it's 2022, but don't get quote me on that. He has 55 points plus 37 and a 1.2 points per game. Uh, he was drafted in the last year. Um, then Joseph Willis, uh, with the second of spirit of the Ontario Hockey League, 49 points, 14 goals, 35 assists. Um, then we got Kalen Lind, he has uh 15 points, 15 goals, 29 assists for 44 points. Alexander Campbell of North Northeastern University. With 22 goals, 20 assists, with 42 points, and a plus 13, he is currently available for Nashville to sign and probably to be able to be sent here. Um, then you have Aiden Fink at Penn State. Uh, he has uh, 15 goals, 19 assists for 34 points. Also one um, freshman, all, all freshman. He was on the all freshman team. Uh, then we've got... Uh, Jesse Keeskinen, er, yeah, Jesse Keeskinen, he had 31 points between Liga and uh, the U20 League. Uh, he had 10 points with uh, Liga, in Liga um, with four goals, six assists, 10 points to minus one. Um, in 
playing in the U-20 league. He had 14 goals, 7 assists, 21 points. Uh, Matthew Wood in his time with University of Connecticut, 16 goals, 12 assists, 28 points, minus 1. Adam Ingram with St. Cloud University, 37 games played, 9 goals, 18 assists, 27 points. Oh, but if I want to get into this, Gunnar Wolf Fontaine, another guy who is available, 36 games played. Eight goals, 19 assists, 27 points, and a minus two. Ryan Ufko, UMass, uh, 35 games played, 10 goals, 16 assists, 26 points, plus eight. Felix Nilsson for Rogel BK. He had uh, 41 games played in the SHL. Uh, one goal, two assists, three points, minus five. With 22 games for them in their uh, under-20 league, he had eight goals, 15 assists, 23 points, with a plus 19. Uh, Sutter Maserati. Uh, played for uh, RIP, uh, was a Rash Slider Polytechnic Institute. Um, he had 30, yeah, 33 games, 25 points, minus 15. Simeon Chishikov of Avagar Minsk, uh, he has four goals, 20 assists, 24 points, 15, plus 15. Uh, then we have Cole O'Hare, Cole O'Hare, uh, UMass, um, and then CAA. 35 games played, 7 goals, 11 assists, 18 points, plus 2. Luke Reed with the University of New Hampshire, 1 goal, 15 assists, 16 points, and a plus 5 in 36 games. Dylan, McKean, Dylan McKinnon and the Quebec Major Junior League, 30, or 63 games played, 2 goals, 13 assists for 15 points, and a plus 1. Nolan Burke, who has not seen any time in the AHL, he is with him. He's been with Atlanta all year this year. Uh, 37 games, uh, four goals, nine assists, 13 points, and a minus 16. Isaiah Walther, University of Vermont, 24 games played, five goals, seven assists for 12 points, and a plus 10. Uh, Simon Knack with Hockey Club Davos with the National, National League in Switzerland, 32 games played, five goals, seven assists, 12 points, plus six. Ben Stride, the University of North Dakota, 37 games played, 6 goals, 5 assists, 11 points, and a plus 5. This is the last time we're doing this, by the way. Uh, you have Vladislav Yeramiko for Medogora Mentegorsk. Uh, with the KHL, 31 games played, 3 goals, 5 assists, 8 points, plus 11. Kasper Kulanumi with Tampere with in Liga. He had four game, 40 games played, had four, 4 assists, and a plus 4. He had uh, played in the U League. He had three assists and a plus three. Chase McLean in Penn State. He had three goals, three assists, six points, minus 11. Anton Olison. He played for Scalafia. Um, he had one assist, minus four. He played for Yokerit in Liga. He had two goals, one assist, with a plus one. He also played for AIK in, uh, in this other Swedish league. He had seven games played in a minus one. And then I forgot about that. Jarrett Anderson Dolan. He is playing for the Ontario Raid. He has three games played, two goals, no assists. Um, I believe he is injured. Uh, goalies, uh, Ethan Hayter for the University of Connecticut, 21 games played, 2.91 goals against per game. Uh, he was averaging uh, 90.6 per save percentage with two shutouts with a 7-11. And two record. Um, then you have Gustav Davis Greggles in his time with Atlanta. He is 29 games played, 3.52 goals against average, with a 90.1 save percentage with a 9 16 and 0 record with Atlanta. He is 0 and 1 with the Admirals, averaging 4.12 games or goals per game with an 84.6 save percentage. Konstantin Volkov played 10 games in the, for Dynamo, Dynamo Moscow in the KHL. He had 3.6 zero goals against with an 88.9 save percentage and went 5-2-0. and oh. uh, Yuha Gatkola uh, played for Kalpa. He had 34 games played, 2.69 goals against average, but you know, that save percentage is a little rough at 87.5. He had one shutout and he had 12-16 and 5 record. Uh, by the way, Greggles has two shutouts with Atlanta. Ethan Hayter had two Leading the way in shutouts for our, our system is Yaroslav Iskarov with five. He has 12, 
or twenty two twelve and one. Uh, Troy Grosnick is sixteen six and zero. Oh. So if I wanted to add those stats in as well, uh, the Admirals are back at it again on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, Nate Smith. Sunday, go bring your kids and they'll get a Rubik's Cube. Um, then we're back on the road against the Wild and then back at home against Rockford and then Grand Rapids. Next week's going to be huge. Yeah. Playing Iowa, then Rockford and Grand Rapids and Rockford and Grand Rapids have been on fire. In a weird sense, the quicker we get healthy, the better off we are. Yeah. Um, Garo needs to learn how to stay in the net. LaRue needs to control his temper. I'm not saying that he needs to not be who he is. It's just timing. He, he, he needs to learn when to control his temper. When to draw the dumb penalty. Instead of getting the dumb penalty. Yeah. It's just little things he needs to do. Little things. He's young, so I'm not going to like harp on it too much, but just little things. The, the the penalties today, every time they got on a power play, they committed a penalty. Uh, one was holding by LaRue, and, and I was just like, that's dumb. So it, it just seemed that way. There were a couple calls that didn't get called. So... Just a lot going on. Um, in other news, um, I'm gonna check that real quick. All right. All right. Um, apparently, the guy that I read last is currently on the Preds roster and has yet to play a game. Um, so, with that all said, um, what's your thought after seeing Ozzy Weissblatt? Uh, I don't know. Played all right. <laughs> um. All right, and I also thank you all for heeding my advice <laughs> from last night. So yeah, thank you all, and have a wonderful day. Um, we will be back tomorrow. Um, whether I'm here is, but he will. Oh, he will be. No.
He will be doing the show whether I'm here or not. Um, Nashville's going for a chance at their record for points. So we'll see what happens there. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. Tomorrow. In like 33 minutes. If not less. By the time you see this, it'll be tomorrow. <laughs>